Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie. And if you hear him talking in the background, that is my husband playing video games. Um, normally he's pretty quiet. Apparently today he's not. So today is my update number one for the Pan of Dinosaurs um, project pan. This was created by Taru over on YouTube, which is the Quality Free Panner, in collaboration with the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group. Um, yeah. Got one coming through the back door. So, I don't have a lot of progress. I have some progress, but not a lot. <coughs> And so yeah, let's just get on in. Got notes in front of me. She's gonna be looking down. All right. First one I had was the uh, Argentinosaurus, which was something big, bulky, or heavy. And I chose my wizardry and witchcraft palette. My goal is to use each shade ten times. Um. Hi guys editing alley. Um, so I realized that the video cut out sooner than I thought, so half of my usage numbers were cut out for the wizardry and witchcraft palette. Um, so I'm just going to give you all kind of a fill in real quick. I've used broomstick twice, sorcerer once, uh, cloak zero, potions twice, prophecy zero, Salem once, Merlin zero, uh, bewitched and cauldron both I've used once, a spell book I've used zero times, charms I've used twice, and jinx I've used zero times as well. Sorry guys, I didn't realize it until editing, but thanks. Not sure why that cut out, but I have used Salem once, I have used Merlin zero, Bewitched once, I have used Cauldron once, spell book zero, charms twice, and Jinx zero. So I've got some progress, um, but not a lot. Again, I want to use each shade ten times, so I really do need to kind of like pull this one out and work on it a little bit more since this is a mid-length project versus a full year. So yeah, I am actually wearing this shade Sorcerer all over my lid today. Um, not counting that into my counts because of the time tape the time periods but it's a beautiful metallic red I really do enjoy it <clears throat> next is the um, diplodocus which is something long and I chose my H&M liners these are the gel liners from H&M I don't think that H&M makes makeup anymore um, but I have used, alright, so my H&M liners, I have used the Lovely Lilac, which is this purple shade, once. I have used this Light Sky Blue Azure thing once. This Deep Toned Teal, I have not used at all. This greenish color, it's called Silver Jade, I have used this twice. And then this deep cobalt blue into the blue I have used zero times. So I do have some work to get onto these as well. So my goal is 10 times each. And I think I can do that by April. And then we have the Parasaurolophilus. Parasaurolo. Parasaurolophus. You hear little feet, that's my cat and my dog like going at it too. Um, but that is something with weird shape packaging. And I chose the Urban Decay Elements palette. My goal is to use each shade three times. And this is what it's currently looking like. So I have little notes right here. <clears throat> I have used the shade Sapphire Dream zero times. I have used Electric Air zero times. I have used Antidote zero times. I have used this green shade right here, Secret Keeper, zero times. 
I have used Earthbound twice. Um, Elemental I have used once. Volcanic I have used zero times. Lioness, Firestarter, and Dreamweaver I have used once. Ego I have used zero times. And Heavy Water I have used zero times. Fortune Teller I have used twice. Silver Burn I have used zero times. Fool's Gold I have used twice. Moon Rock I have used zero times. Tectonic I have used once. Hex Remedy I have used zero times. And Luna I have used once. So this Fortune Teller and Fool's Gold Shade and Earthbound I have one more use to hit my three usage goal. Um, then I still have a, a lot to work on to hit three uses for each shade. I am wearing Dream Reaver Firestarter and Lioness on my eyes today. Just really kind of enjoying this uh, reddish purple look I've got going on. Kana wanted a red silky eye. So this is what you get. <laughs> but yeah, so three uses each shade and I'm almost there for two of the shades. So hopefully next update I will have more usage and a couple of shades that I can kind of get out of here. Next is the Spinosaurus, which is something liquid. And I chose my Kat Von D um, KVD Center Travel Perfume. I actually have this little bitty pot plus this travel size. So this was about half full when the project started. I dumped, this was brand new, I dumped this into this to make it a full bottle. So I have about half a bottle left of this one. Um, I have used this 13 times. I do have some pretty good usage of about right here in conjunction or in comparison to the end. Well, my, what I'm going to do is once I finish one full bottle, I'm going to dump the rest of this back in and then see where we are after that. So 13 usage usages um, and then we will see maybe next month I can get this refilled. Then we have the Triceratops, which is something that plays well with others. And I chose my Park Avenue Princess Bronzer from Tarte. And this is what it's looking like. My goal is to hit pan. Um, I don't have pan yet, but you can see the rings um, of the pan underneath it. Uh, so I do think maybe by next update I can have maybe a baby pan. Um, I have only used this four times um, in the last month, which isn't a lot, but I've really been focusing on my bronzer and my Pan That Face Palette. And I just, I haven't been wearing as much bronzer as I would like lately because it's getting cooler here in the Midwest. Um, so I'm pulling out this cool tone bronzer for the winter time in the fall, which I think I'll be able to get some more usage on because of the season change. <coughs> And then lastly, we have the Velociraptor, which is something that surprised you. And I chose my Becca Songbird blush. And it is this beautiful red, orange toned, like coppery blush. Um, this is almost like an identical dupe for the MAC Peach Twist blush that I love. It's my favorite. My goal is to use this 50 times by April. And I have only used it three times. So I have a pretty ways to go, a pretty long ways to go. I, I want to try for like six to seven usages a month. That way I can hit that 50 usages by the end of the project. Um, but yeah, three uses. So I still have a ways to go to get to 50. Um, so yeah. So with that being said, those are the current six dinosaurs and six products or groups of products that I am working on. However, I kind of want to do this projectively or I think that's the word. Um, either way, I'm every update I'm thinking of rolling in a new dinosaur until I get to 10. So if I have some dinosaurs that I finish, then I will roll something in another place. But if I don't finish anything, then I will still roll in a new dinosaur. Um, Anyway, so at, at a max of 10. I won't want to work on 10, more than 10 at a time. 
Alright, so the next dinosaur that I'm going to roll in is going to be the Ankylosaurus, which is something that protects you. I am already working on a sunscreen in my um, Throwback 30. So I was thinking of maybe of a hair protectant. So I have... I have eight of these little Defy Damage um, Joyco like sample masks, and it has a protective shampoo, conditioner, mask, and shield. Um, so I do color my hair. Got to cover the gray, you know, stress, maybe stress. Um, so I have eight of these, and I want to finish all eight of these by the end of the year, or by the end of the project. Um, so maybe like one a month, maybe two obviously for one month, but with winter coming up. Um, so I want to go and finish all eight of these little sample packs. They are a single use um, product, but it's four products in one, so it would be more of a system versus just a like single use shampoo. So I do have, so I, I do have eight of these sampler packs. So that will be my next dinosaur that I am rolling in, which is the Ankylosaurus, which is something that protects you. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Thank you again for stopping by my channel and checking out my update for the Pan of Dinosaurs. If you haven't already, please go check out Taru's channel. You are going to love her. She is amazing and sweet and just awesome, straight up awesome. Um, I will see you guys again next month for a new update, um, bye!